Hi, this is David Merrill. I want to talk to you a little bit right now about being a star blogger. I know many people that come into, into the business that want to do blogs, that want to use them for different reasons. Many of these people really don't want to be a star blogger. They say, please hide my name, hide my pictures, I don't want to be associated with this. My feeling about this is that people may be extremely shy, and that's possible, but also very often they, they just really don't believe in what they're doing. They don't believe in their own ideas. They don't have conviction in the product that they're trying to promote or the company or the service that they're offering to people. They may not even really understand their own true value, either as an individual or as a representative of a company or, or a, of a product. To be a star blogger, and I'll use this word for the sake of uh, this discussion, really means being a blogger that takes your blogging effort to a, to a higher level than just simply and passively having a blog out there to impress your friends and your family or, or just as a little hobby for yourself. Those things are fine if you want to do that. The people I work with generally are working at a higher level and they really want to accomplish something, again, either promoting an idea and it's not always a, a financial reward that people are looking for blogging, either promoting an idea um, or they're promoting a business, perhaps a book that they've written, uh, something. But there's some promotional aspect to being a blogger and the reason they want to be a star blogger or they need to want to be a star blogger is, uh, I'll, I'll list about five of them here that I have in mind. Uh, the first thing is that you, first of all, you want to get known. You want people to know that you're out there. Many people spend their whole lives having great ideas, they have, uh, maybe they've written something, maybe they've done something commendable, maybe they uh, represent a product uh, on some level, and it's really something that they could share with people, would help people's lives, but for their own reasons of self-imposed humility, uh, we'll say for lack of a better term, they choose not to step out from the crowd, they choose to hang out in the, in the shadows and not let people really know what they have of value. They think that that's a good thing. They think that that makes them uh, an honest and sincere and humble person, and maybe it does, but it also, it, it also keeps the value that they have to share with others in their own back pocket. They don't ever get to stand out and say, this is what I've got that could help you with your life. Now, if they don't have anything that would be of value to other people, then they're probably better off not to be promoting it to, to begin with. But if you do have something of value that you do want to share with people, you're going to want to be a star blogger, first of all, so you get recognized, so that people know who you are. Second thing you're going to, going to want to do is you're going to want to be noticed as a leader. You want people to say, that well, here's a person, he has a business, or he has an idea that he's promoting, and it's not just a casual thing. He has a passion for it. He's coming out here, and he's doing this great content with his blog. He's telling us all the reasons this is such an important business to join, or this is such an important concept that he needs to get through to us. Uh, I'm, I'm going to follow him or her because they really have authenticity, they have a deep com uh, a passion, and they have a compassion in sharing this with, with, uh, with other people. The third reason that you're going to want to be a star blogger is because it will position you to be able to dominate social media in your niche or in your specialty. Um, being a leader is essential if you're ever going to really take your business or your idea to another level where people recognize it to the degree that they see that it's extremely valuable and that it really has merit on its own face. If you become a leader, this is something that now will stop people everywhere you go. It doesn't matter if your company goes out of business, it doesn't matter if you finished last year's book and now you're on a second one. People are going to follow you, not the company, not the product, not the, not the service. They're going to follow you because you have established yourself as a leader and you've done that through your star blogging techniques. Uh, the, the fourth thing that you're going to, the fourth reason that you will want to be a star blogger is because you really want to start building an immense credibility and trust factor with people. People will trust you when they see how deeply involved you are with your product, how deeply committed you are, and you will start having a huge following. Once you have trust, once you have credibility, you will command a huge following of viewers, of, of readers, of listeners, whatever, whatever the medium is that you're using to promote yourself. You want a huge following, again, going back to our original point, you do want a huge following if you're trying to change people's lives. If you have something of value, you want a huge following. You don't want one person getting value from something you have. You'd rather have one million people get something from value if you believe that what you have to offer has value. And remember, every single person has something of value. They have to find it first. 
Once you have found it, it will become your passion to share it with others. And when you want to share it with others, you want a huge following. You don't want to be a star blogger for your own ego. You want it so that people will know where to turn for something of value, and that's you. And finally, the last reason, and this unfortunately is often the first reason people start blogging, is to gain financial reward. The fifth reason you want to be a star blogger is because you will position yourself to gain tremendous profits. Tremendous profits. Once you have become a leader, once you have become an authentic uh, um, promoter of a product or a service or of yourself, once you've gained the trust and credibility of people, you there will be no limit to the amount of money you can make and to the amount of profit you can turn for yourself or for your business. Once again, this is not important if you're just in this game for yourself. If you just want to get another boat and another car, it's not such a significant thing that you become a superstar blogger. Uh, but I do, I do want to see you succeed. If you're seeing the value that, you, that you're giving to people monetized to the degree that you can then take that money and make their lives even better or improve other people's lives by spreading this wealth out into areas that will, do, will have great impact in the human race. Uh, whether that be causes, again, it may be a product, your product may be a very beneficial thing to people. Uh, whether it be your service, which, which could come, be coming from your heart, could be a compassionate service that you're offering to people, whether it be in health or nutrition or, or whatever it is. So these are the five reasons, really, that I think you really want to be a star blogger. And if you do want to be a star blogger, I'm really happy to work with you on, on how to do this. You're going to need, first of all, you're going to need a blog. You're going to know how to set it up. You're going to know how to promote it through the social media so that it has some meaning to it. And you're going to need a system. You're going to need a system to monetize the blog and to bring people into your sales funnel or into your promotional funnel so that you can keep in touch with them and always have them... Uh, ready to learn the next thing that you have to offer them. So you want to be a star blogger if you want to get your game up to a high level, and that's what I'm here to help you with. So I'll be back and teach you more.